Hello again, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Gallery. That's a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Why there are always specks on it, I don't know. Anyway, so I want to make this canvas turquoise and I'm going to do it in, with every turquoise and green color that I've got. But I'm going to start, strangely enough, with a prism pour named Frosted. which is a pale blue, mostly to make other paint slide more easily. But that being said, I also have the end of a prism pour bottle that was Royal, Royal Sapphire and I used Floetrol in the bottle. That's not unsealed. There we go. And it looks like there's plenty of color there. This may resolve my issue. Although I do also have Chrysocolla that was in a tiny little bottle. And it looks viable too. Let's just do that. This is my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. So no matter where we start, we're just going to cover the canvas. And if I add other colors, including... Um, the Chrysocolla is a prison pour, including... Chantilly Lace. I wish I hadn't put that in that. <laughs> I wasn't sure at the time what to put it into. And I didn't think there was as much paint as there actually was. So that'll dry and maybe I can put some other colors in there and pull, peel out a circle, which I do quite frequently. I have got to make a collage at some point in time in the future with my skins and the circles that I've made. But I'll leave that there upside down for right now. So, what other colors do I want in there? I want to try some of the Vivid Intense Thalo Turquoise. I'm definitely thinking of a purple, and if it's not too risky, I want to try some of the Red Violet, but we'll have to see how I feel about it at the time. Let's try it. Now, what was that? That was the Vivid Intense Thalo Turquoise. This is a Nebula Star is pretty dark. I already got a painting and that's a primary element. This is yellow green. This is another vivid intense. Still want the purple. I think if I use enough color, I think I might be really close to having enough color on there which means that I have to be very picky at this point. And what I want is to decide if it's cerulean blue. Let's just try a little bit. Yeah, I like the cerulean blue in there. That's not really what I was intending. Um, I've got agave blue, but I think what it is is I want to use some frozen. And I want to use some actual royal sapphire too. And I have a bottle draining. So this is the frozen, not the frosted, frozen. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Now I wanted to use some of the, um, the dark waters. It's very green though, which is, should be okay. And I can always use more. I have to remember I can always use more. Um, and I'm finishing up some sea glass, which I believe is a... I'm not sure what it is. But I think if I'm not careful, I'm going to get a marble out of that. There we go. I think it's a primary element. But hopefully I'll figure it out. There's the marble I wanted out. And now I could just use the rest of that paint freely, which would actually make me kind of happy. Except for that part. That was dumb. <laughs> see if I can... No, it's got all the paint weight on one side. Well, I'll let that continue to drain down for a minute. I'll take my painty fingers rinse them off in the bucket and get on with this. 
I didn't use any more Royal Sapphire, but I think that the Royal Sapphire that's on there will be good enough. Now with the colors, especially the flow drill, with the colors, the fewer times I traverse them, the better off I am. But I think I've had edges on my canvas show a bunch of times recently and I'd really rather not. I'm surprised that that frosted is showing through as much as it is. This kind of makes me want the cerulean blue. I'm really thinking of taking the purple or whatever while I have a nice heavy layer of paint. Yes, I just did that. That's not a good idea. But fortunately, I'm not also not done. Although I kind of like the dribbles. Take my spatula and run it right down the edge. Try and utilize all the paint I've got. Because there's no rhyme or reason at this point. You're just trusting... I'm a color art affiliate. You're just trusting color art colors to be color art colors and do what they do best, which is create amazing, <laughs> amazing combinations. But I gotta quit dribbling. You could swipe this at this point. I mean, you could definitely use cell activator if you wanted to. I do have enough paint. I probably used a little, even a little more than need be. I'm going to make sure that my whole canvas is covered and my edges. And if I back push the spatula off, in theory, still a little more paint, it should drip down and I should be able to use my finger. I'm getting ready to add some purple, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm not going to just stop. Although I kind of like what I've got and the uh, the frosted did act like the Chantilly lace would have. Only the Chantilly lace is a little more valuable to me than the frosted because it's basically shiny like diamonds. Not that the frosted isn't shiny because it probably is. It's just Chantilly lace. You can't beat it. I think everybody should have some. I like these shapes. I wish there were more of them. Every time I do this, I learn something new about what I might want to do on purpose after doing it by accident. I'm kind of hoping where the canvas shows on the edges, not there. Finish the thought, Priscilla. <laughs> All right, so I've got a wet canvas with a nice layer of paint and I've got Twilight Orchid, Black Raspberry, which everybody seemed to like recently, and some Jasmine. I keep thinking it would be nice to put a big paint of dish to get a big paint of dish, a big dish of paint <laughs> together and just dip my spatula in. That was the Jasmine. This is the Twilight Orchid. I'll just have a little bit of everything. And this is the Black Raspberry. And see how it goes. And since I see canvas on my corner, I'm not sure how that's going to be working out. Makes me want blue. I think some. I think there's definitely room for more. So let's start again with the twilight orchid on the bottom this time. Jasmine in the middle. Some black raspberry. I've got that Egyptian blue right there calling me.
let's just take a spatula and add our colors. I'm surprised to see any canvas, to tell you the truth, because there's really quite a bit of paint on this canvas right now. And I was trying for such a long time to have backgrounds, and now I'm finally figuring out how to make backgrounds when I want to do what I was doing when I was trying to make backgrounds and making paintings instead. You need a really light touch if you're going to cover your edges. And sometimes it's okay to go back the next day and cover them if you have a close enough color match. Now if I want to put Chantilly Lace in now, this is the time. I'm going to try some of the black raspberry right on the canvas, although I'm a little nervous about it. Oh, found something that needs to go. I do continuously try and clean my spatula off on the edge of the canvas. Now I really liked what the Chantilly Lace did in the last piece. So I'm going to try a few dollops. And after that, I might put some lines in. Maybe I should have gone from the other direction. Also, maybe it's not too late. All right, I'm going to do it. Just what I said. It looks like water to me. You could go from both directions. And I'm thinking it would be cool to try the jasmine because I like I like how this looks and I'm afraid I'm about to get rid of it. And it's a good thing I've got GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixes. Because this is not lightweight. Well, I wanted a mostly turquoise canvas. And I wasn't necessarily looking for background. We'll see how it looks tomorrow. It reminds me of water on a pond. I'm going to do the jasmine. I might do jasmine and some more royal sapphire. And that's a beautiful color. You could, if you didn't have dollops like I just dribbled. I didn't have even pressure on my bottle. You could probably leave it. You might even be able to leave it like it is. Alright, so here's the black raspberry again. That's pretty. And here is Royal Sapphire, and I'm doing them all at once because I've, I want to just swipe over one more time. At this point, it's just down to whether I want to put any of the Egyptian blue in or not, and I kind of think it would be striking, but it's also pretty dark. So I have to think about what else there might be. 
and that might be the agave blue, but it's awful similar to everything else. That's not bad. That's the agave blue. It didn't separate. Oh. And now I'm afraid I'm going to lose all of the lines that I put down from the uh, Chantilly lace. But I think that this is my last hurrah because I think paint will start to get sticky after this. Alright, I've got three minutes and I should tell you I do sell my artwork. I'll take all that off. I should probably be using a scrape dish. I'm going to scrape it all off that, on that edge, hoping against hope that I can actually remove what I need to. I had a little bare spot. I don't even know why that would occur. And I do have a scrape dish and I will probably want to use it to cover my edges. All right, that's going to be pretty no matter what I do. And uh, if I'm going to do something else, I don't know what it is yet. So if I see you in a second, then there's a part two. And if I turned out to like it like it was after it dried, you'll be seeing the thumbnail. And I'll be saying, check the end screens for uh, information about my email address and looking at the uh, link tree underneath the video. And I'm just going to shimmer this at you. I gotta see if the orange is gonna be good. Do I dare? No, I don't. I want something in there. I know. I'm gonna try some more of this Vivid Intense. That's kind of even. And I'm probably taking my taking a big risk. Should have put it down less evenly. All right, that's it for me for right now, and hopefully I'll see you guys anon. I think I see something has to come out, and I've got spilled paint I need to clean up. I see it. All right. Catch you guys on the rebound. Don't forget I post at 10.15 most days. And I forget that you can't really see turquoise very well on a camera. But I'm going to try and shimmer it at you anyway because I've got a minute. It doesn't look anything like it does in the monitor down below. All right. I love you guys. I hope you come again. Whatever you need, just ask questions. I'm happy to have comments and questions. You're welcome. Bye for now. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for joining the membership. I really appreciate that. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Check my email. It's on uh, the, the closing credits. Bye for now. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Bye. Okay, I'm back. That's just too uniform for me, so I'm going to do whatever it takes to change it. That's Jasmine. This is Prussian Violet. Here is some Chantilly Lace. Let's grab a little bit of 
sour lemon, take my chances. Some more, well actually for the first time, Fandango. Indian Spice. Cerulean Blue. And I think I want either, oh yeah, there's the Deep Amethyst, which I'm evidently almost out of. Here's some Wild Orchid. And what else do I want? Some more Chantilly Lace. Just drag my fingernail right through the painting. I'm kind of hoping that the background colors will be available still to a degree. But I'm not worried about it because I wasn't satisfied with what I had. I do want some more green. Right up there. Still thinking Midnight Shadow. I'm not worried about getting rid of what I had behind at all. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm wondering if maybe I should just be showing the second part. I want to tip that down. Because if I don't stick a spatula in it, I'll have a much better shot. straw. I have a small spatula. I have a small acetate tool. Let's give it a shot. And wipe it off. And I'm lucky it's still wet from yesterday because I didn't remember to wet it. Alright, so I want some saffron. How does it feel like to want? My bottle is not open. Sometimes I check all my bottles before I work. I got it. I thought I got it. I got a little bit of it. I guess if I want more I'm going to have to do something else about it. But I might not mind just a little bit. I kind of like that. I definitely like the whole entire composition better than I like the stripes. So maybe I'll just fast forward through the stripes. Wow, that's a lot of stuff inside my bottle. I don't think it's been clean for a long time. All the threads are coming right out. All right, so I'm going to have to clean my tweezers, too, in a second. I'm going to take my lead from where I started. And just add little bits and pieces of things. Maybe I'll just use a squeeze bottle to add some more stuff. I like that white, but I think I'd like some more right there. And 
And do I dare use the colors? No, I'm going to clean it off. There, I like that. I'm thinking a little more orange someplace wouldn't hurt anything. But I'm kind of inclined to... Yeah, no, I'm loving that. Ha <laughs> ha! Hopefully I set my timer. I'm thinking a little bit more jasmine. So I'm just touching that to integrate it. I don't think it really need, needs it much. I don't actually want to lose the colors. I wouldn't mind picking it up or pulling it. Grab the jasmine. Just a little dollop, which I honestly feel like just taking the straw to. There's enough paint in the background, so it sort of just wants to melt in anyway. I like what I've got. Most, most of what I've got here is new and on the surface. I have paint. On my spatula. Do I want any more of that Prussian Violet? That's what really stood out. Maybe I'm going to try just a little bit of the Egyptian Blue. That didn't hurt my feelings any. Now whatever else I want, I want up here. And I think I have some... Yeah, it's open. Some of the Frostbite that has ultramarine blue in it. I think my tip's a little clogged. That was perfect. Now anything else I want. I'm going to use some more jasmine. Where was I going to use it though? Now I do have, like I mentioned, I hope I mentioned, I have GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixers, which means I can leave it as heavy as it is and it won't crack. It's heavy, but it's not impossibly heavy. And I'm pretty sure that I should call that done in a second. That's Chantilly Lace again. Which is nice and warm today for some reason. And I'm thinking just a little bit of black raspberry. I just can't quit until I'm done.
There's some drama in there. I'm happy with this. Am I completely finished? I don't know. I love the idea. I think I'm going to have to have some orange. This is the orange crush again. I'm inclined. To add some waggles. That was the jasmine again. It's my painting. I'll do what I want. This is the uh, black raspberry. Maybe a little tiny bit more gold wouldn't hurt anything. I'm not entirely sure where. That did not hurt. As I don't think that did either. I want a little bit of saffron again. I don't mind the paint residuals. They just add more color. And I've got all that turquoise. I think I'm going to use some of it. I've got some chrysocolla. Yeah, I like that. I've got some sticky edges. But otherwise, I'm surprised I did this, but I just stood there and looked at it, and I couldn't couldn't take it anymore. Now that's not coming off, and I want it to, so I'm going to just slide it right off. Hopefully, you can see. think. Why do I want orange in places I should not put orange? <laughs> I've got gloppy paint, but I don't think it's going to hurt anything right now. I'm going to throw that in the bucket before it gets any gloppier. And I'm going to be crazy. Just kept getting called to it over and over again until you just can't ignore that in your head. I like it. Am I done with it? Pretty close. <laughs> Alright, so I love you guys. I'm not sure what I told you at the end of the last video. But uh, if you give me a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. Your comments keep my morale boosted, so thank you for those. Shopping my Amazon link is at know what it costs you. It helps me out. You can find my two books there. If I have any bubbles, I saw one right there. Almost messed it up too. So I'm trying to learn how to be more organic. And that first stripey painting just wasn't doing it for me. And I'm liking exposing some of the colors underneath. And leaving little odd shapes is okay with me too. 
But I gotta stop myself before I ruin something I actually like. All right, let's shimmer the set you. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I do see one thing I need to change just because I can. This is the Egyptian blue. Let's blow it into place. some jagged marks there so that's okay. Maybe not quite as jagged as they are but I think I can resolve that issue. So this was as far as I can tell because I have no experience with balloon rolls for a long time. This was as sticky as sticky can be when you're getting sticky when it's sticky in the end. I don't know how to say that. Anyway so I'm not unhappy with that. I'm really happy with it. Anything that I need to fix? Like little balls, sometimes I want to fix them. So I need to tell you guys, take care of each other, take care of yourselves. Wish my camera monitor would stay straight. Hopefully I'll have a better shot at turning, at shimmering this at you than I have been. Had the last one. Yeah, that's, that's sweet. All right. Check my link tree for my email address, EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. Don't forget there's 20% off color art coupon code and a 10% off pixel paint designs coupon code. And the pixel paint designs is where you can get the Australian flow trial to make cell activator, which is pretty nice to have. And boom gel, which doesn't require any Australian flow trial to be a cell activator. And Pebio paints, which are just basically awesome anyway. And they do make some good cell activators. The, uh, the red violet I like a lot. All right, so I love you guys. I'll see you guys in on. Uh, please share, watch longer, leave me a comment. Thank you for the donations uh, through PayPal. The icon's on the bottom right-hand corner of my YouTube channel banner. It's, it's you guys and those of you who are members who uh, keep me painting at YouTube. And uh, questions are welcome. My community board will show you tomorrow's video. I have 30 playlists with 100 videos each on them, and I also have them up. Um, separated by topic and genre. My paint pouring recipe is underneath show more. I love you guys. I hope you come again. I'm sure you heard most of this halfway through at the beginning of the first video. I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I do sell my artwork. Inquiries are welcome. I'll always be happy to receive an email from you making a request for a price or details about anything I can help you with. I'm happy to help. All right. Bye for now. Priscilla out.